I'm so excited to have you uh, to have you kicking off this series, uh, St. Nick's 12 Days of Mortgage Giveaways. It's gonna be a it's, <laughs> it's gonna be it's gonna be a fun 12 days for sure. So, um, yeah. So for anybody that doesn't know uh, Michael Mayer, I, you know, here's how I got introduced to him. So I don't even know what year it was, but I had this book. Um, here's his here's his book by the way, Seven Levels of Communication. This is with the, the fancy the cover, but one that I have now it doesn't have the cover. I don't, I'm not sure what happened to that, but he actually, I had this book on my Amazon wish list and you sent it to me. So I always, man, this book is awesome. Like I still use stuff from it every single day in our business. Parts of the Legion definitely have been inspired by your book. Um, and so I, I'm honored to have you on here and helping us kick off this, uh, this 12 days of fun. Thanks, man. It's a, it's an honor and privilege and, and man, kudos to you for, for what you've done and your mastermind and, and uh, all the value that you are providing the world and especially the, the mortgage world. It, it's awesome to see brother. It, it's awesome to see. And, and I'm excited you. about your future, right? Thank you. I really appreciate that. And that um, beard is, is righteous. Dude, is that from November? And you just decided to keep it? I, uh, well, I, the last time I cut it was in the summer of 2017 when I was in Thailand, I cut it all the way back. To like wow. a little, what I call a corporate beard, you know, like a little baby beard. Yeah. And, uh, and then, corporate but beard. yeah, this <laughs> I need, I need to grow a beard because uh, I got this suck it chin thing going right here. <laughs> if I had a beard, you wouldn't even, it's like, I wouldn't have to worry about with the lighting and all that stuff. Right. So it's kind of camouflage. I'm sure I would have that if I cut my beard back to you, no worries. Um, the darker hey, the room, the better I look. That's what I'm right. <laughs> Awesome. I love that. Yeah. So, um, before uh, we get into your tips, so if anybody who, who's watching live, the way you're going to enter, so we've got these two books we're going to give away, The Power of Who, which is a Bob Bodine book, love this oh, yeah. book, um, and Seven Levels of Communication. All right, these are the prizes for today. If you want a chance to win that, what you need to do is on the live video, just comment a number, any number between one and 100. Um, at the end of, um, after Michael gives his tip, I'm going to open up my random number generator and, uh, and we're going to see who's the winner, okay? And I'll mail you these books out. Um, I'll get the books out tomorrow. So that's how you enter to win. Um, just uh, enter, enter any number between 1 and 100, okay? You got one, one entry per person. And, uh, and then also, if you have questions, feel free to throw your questions in there. And we'll make sure that I, you know, if I see any cool questions, uh, we'll, we'll get them answered as well while I have Michael here on the call. So awesome, man. Well, uh, I know you said you had a little tip to help make people's 2019 better. Um, you know, a way that they can get more referrals. You want to dive into that? Uh, did I say that? I mean, did I, have a, <laughs> I have a referral idea. Is that what you're saying? That I might have a like a referral idea? I mean, so, you're kind of you're kind of known for that. Yeah. So, so you know what? I don't want to talk about that. I, I here here's what I want to talk about is is I, we're on Facebook, right? And like 35 minutes ago, I, I'm kind of getting ready for this. I just got done with an interview for a magazine. And I've got a little bit of time. And then I get this Facebook friend request, right? And, and it's like a girl from high school. Nick, have you ever had that happen where, I mean, this might, you, how long have you been out of high school? You've only been out of high school a couple of years. But for me, it's been a long time, right? So, so I got this, this friend request. And, and it just real, you know how it is where it brings back all these memories of when you were in school, right, in high school? And, you know, those were the, like the best six or seven years of my life was high school. So, <laughs> so it, it was one of those where um, it reminded me of this, of this, of this girl, right? And my wife's not in here, so I can tell this story. She, she's good. I'm married, so I can, I can tell this story. So, so in third grade, I moved to Gardner, Kansas. Uh, uh, I came from Iowa, and the only thing smaller than anything in Iowa was Gardner, Kansas. Gardner, Kansas, a very small town, and my dad was a teacher, and he earned twenty five hundred dollars a year, and my mom stayed home with five kids. So, so we didn't we didn't have any money, right? I wore lots of hand me downs, and I thank God to this day that I had two older brothers and one older sister, if you know what I mean, when it comes to hand me downs, right? So. Uh, third grade, we, we, you know how you get in line in third grade, right? How do they get you in line to go to recess or lunch or everything, right? You know how they line you up? By what? Right. By, by alphabetical, right? So it just so happened that I came in very nervous, wearing a hand-me-down shirt, probably almost had holes on it or in it or coming close. And, and I stood, and I just so happened I stood next to the cutest girl on the planet, right? 
So the, the cutest girl in the world, her, her, her name just happened to end with very similar letters that, that mine did. I mean, very similar. So uh, I just remember how cute she was. And I remember like, like going through third grade and she didn't even know my name and she was with the cool kids and I would hang out like with the people who played sports mostly or just on my own, right? I was the new kid and these kids have been going to school from kindergarten. Well then, you know, fourth, fifth and sixth grade came and she finally learned her name. Well, let's call her name Christy to, we'll, we'll not use her name to protect the innocent, though that was her name. And so, you know, in this case, I think she finally kind of started learning my name because we had to stand next to each other and she would listen for my name to know that her name was gonna be called next. That's the only reason she would have known my name or known I existed. Seventh and eighth grade came and seventh and eighth grade was, was uh, you know, it was different, right? Uh, it, it, everybody's starting to grow mm -hmm. and sports, became part of school. And that's, that's the one thing that I did really well. So I remember, you know, playing football. And as a seventh grade, I, I actually played on the eighth grade team, uh, which was a pretty big deal at the time. And, and so uh, she was in seventh grade as well, and was a cheerleader also made the varsity cheerleading. And so we would have to interact a lot through sports. You know, I'd give her a high five in the hall anytime I could. Literally, I would walk out of my way to give her a high five, right? And trust me, there's a point to this story. And then, you know, seventh and eighth grade were, were great years. And, and, you know, I went with a girl or two, right? You didn't go out with anybody. You just go with whatever that means, right? And, uh, and then ninth grade happened, right? And ninth grade happened and... Uh, once again, football in the fall, and she was a cheerleader, and now something had changed, right? So now we're walking through the halls, and it had been a high five or a hey, Christy, and uh, now it was like a low five, and then as we, like, passed in the hall, like, our hands would cup a little bit as we went by, right? And of course, that would send sparks through my entire body, right? And, and the linger got longer over time. And it's like, there's something here. Like, there's something here. Finally, the cutest girl in the world, and I may have a shot here, right? And so I'm getting ready to ask her to go with me to the, the, the fall dance. And I come to school on Monday after the second football game. And I had had a really good game on Friday. And I was really excited about like, you know, I had some, some extra confidence. And then Jeremy, who was my friend at the time, no longer my friend, but he came, he came and he came up and said, hey, listen, I just wanted to let you know that, hey, did you know Christy had a party this weekend? Mm -hmm. And I was like, no. And it's like, what? You know, I'm like, how do I, you know, and so, yeah, Christy had a party. She had like 15, 20, 30 people over there. I heard it was a, a rocking time. And, but here's the thing. So I said, Jeremy, no, and don't ever talk to me again. And then, and then I, and then Jeremy was like, hey, um, you know, or, and then I, I, how do I, you know, how did I feel? What was missing, right? What had happened? I wasn't invited, right? So I went to lunch. Even the lunch lady was concerned because I only bought one ho-ho that day instead of two. And, <laughs> He was like, man, you just seem really to be down in the dumps. And, and I, I, I just picked up my food. I wasn't very hungry and I was depressed. And, and in that moment, I thought about all the reasons I hated Christine or Christy. And, and it was just one of those where it's like, uh, and it's just like, but all the things I were saying that I didn't like about her were actually not true. I really did. Well, lo and behold, after lunch, uh, I was just depressed. I was walking with my head down and it just happened that she had the lunch after my lunch. And she came up to me during the hall and she goes, hey, I just wanted to let you know uh, that we had uh, a party this week. It ended up a party, but I invited Heather and Melissa over and they ended up wanting to invite some people over. Well, they invited some people. Well, those people invited some people. And the whole time I'm thinking my parents are coming home and I'm going to get in trouble and it's going to be bad. And I was, just, I was just worried about something getting broken or somebody getting in trouble. And uh, we ended up with like 20 to 25 and my parents came home 
but they were actually cool with it. So we're actually going to do another party next Saturday. And uh, at this Saturday, there was something missing. And it was you, Michael. And I want to invite you to the party that we're having next, uh, next Saturday. And now, how did I feel, right? Now, how did I feel, right? I, I, I was crushed before, devastated. And now, I mean, I'm sure freshman year in high school, she said, I'd love for you to go. I was probably like, I did my best Tom Cruise, right? <laughs> yeah, right. All right. Yeah, I might be able to make it. Let me check my schedule, right? <laughs> And, and inside, I'm like, oh, my God, yes, you know, yes, yes. And so, you know, what's interesting is, is that, you know, I went to the party on Saturday, and, and things did turn out great. And, and, and but the, the, the factor here is that, you know, people all the time, they want to know, they want to know what's the best phone call to your database. They want to know what's the best text message I could send to my database. What is the best email that I could send on my text uh, to my database? And, and, and here's the thing. Guess what? It's not a market update. Sorry. You know, uh, what's the best email? What's the best Facebook message to send someone you know? What's the best postcard to send? What's the best video email to send or video? What's the best to send? And Nick, the beauty of this is that the answer to all of that is the same thing. The best phone call, the best text message, the best email, the best thing you could write in a handwritten note, the best Facebook message, the best video email, the best reason to ever contact your database is an invitation to an event. An invitation to an event. I preach quit chasing, start attracting. And there is nothing that says attractive more than an invitation to an event. Just like you invited me to this Facebook Live. I did not feel a part of the Legion of Loan Officers, right? I didn't. I didn't feel a part of it, right? And now I do, right? No, so here's the thing. You've got a new champion today. How did you get a new champion today? By inviting me to be a part of your community and, and, and making me realize we're not competitors, right? Too many people, like I sent my book to two of the biggest referral minds in real estate and they did not endorse my book. I mean, that didn't even make sense. I sent it to Dave Ramsey, who should be like compet. He wrote me 42, pay, or 42 things to change and gave me a resounding endorsement of the book, right? So it, it Bob Berg. Right. One of the best endorsements I, mm -hmm. I have as well. So so it's an invitation to an event. So the key to more referrals in 2019 or next year is more events, more events. That's it. And then wrap your communication around those events. The events don't have to be big, big. They don't have to be expensive. They just need to be something you can invite them to. Oh, that's awesome. I love it. And, and so that's just total proof of how much your concept really influenced me five or eight. I don't even know how it had to be at least around that line. Five eight years, years ago. ago probably. Probably. I think it was eight. The book you have is one of the, uh, is one of the first 20,000. It's got the black cover, right? Is it plain yeah. black? What the, what's the yeah. end look like? It's like plain black. And then it's like that. Yeah. So that's one of the first 20,000 that we yeah. made. So that, that's a, that's a, nice. that's early dude. That's early. That's, 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 that's 2000, that would have been like 2007, the end of 2007, right? Yeah, the book is Seven Levels of Communication that we're talking about right now. I'm just showing you a janky version that Michael actually sent me because I don't even know how that's possible that you knew that I saw it on my Amazon wish list or something. I don't know, but super awesome that you sent it you to said, me. I'll never you forget it. You shared it on Facebook. Oh, okay. Right? I think you shared it on Facebook and... I just, I just, I stalked you, found your address, and mailed you a book, right? I love it. So, That's oh, awesome. Man. So yeah. great. Such, such a great tip. Yeah, host more events. I mean, at the end of the day, it's a really easy thing, but it takes people to get out of their comfort zone, do it a few times, you know, where eventually, like, I still get nervous. I get nervous right before this call. It's like, telling my wife, I'm like, just having a nervous little thing. Like, when I'm on live, it seems my right armpit sweats a little bit extra, you know, oh. and like, hey, the show must go on, you know? Um, Hey, okay, if anybody that's on here joining now, 
Um, make sure you comment one to 100. I'm about to pull up my number generator to give you away the prizes. Remember, you're going to win a copy of Michael's book, Seven Levels of Communication, which is his new fancy version. You can see it there behind him as well. Uh, it is on Audible. Um, it's available probably on Kindle and stuff, I'm sure, too. But I like the hardcover. That's what you're getting is a hardcover. Me too. Me too. And, and then also this book right here. I love this book, book from Bob Bodine called Power of Who. This book is another one that's influenced me a lot where it talks about how you already know everyone you need to know in your life to have all the success you want to have. And it's just a matter of tapping into those relationships and doing some of the things that Michael teaches. That's why these books go so well together. All right. right. And that's why I decided to give these two away. Okay. All right. So let me pull up my number generator. Let me see, uh, see what we've got. Let me, uh, pull up my... if anybody has any questions, that would be good to put those in there now. Yeah. Throw your questions in that right now. I'm going to, See if I, is there a way to go back through here? Huh. That's so strange that I can't even see. I can't even see all the comments. I really thought I'd be able to just open up the comments and see them. But for some reason, I'm only seeing like a few of them. That's really weird. Uh, okay, well, I think what I'm going to do then is I'm just going to have to draw, pick a number. And then hopefully somebody's picked that number. If they haven't, you know, just pick another number. So that's what I'm yeah, going to do. Okay. Closest to or something like that. Right? Yeah. Something like that. All right. But here's the go. Yeah, that's what I'll do is I'll go with, I'll go with, yeah, if, if you, if the number's not on there, whoever's the closest to this number is going to be the winner based, right. on, based on the comment time right now. So you can't, don't, no, no commenting after this one for the number to win. Okay. Right. Number is 68. All no right. way. Okay. Is it really? I was trying to see if you did. I, I think Joanna Perry might have won. Okay, cool. Joanna well, Perry said 69. Uh, oh, of course she did. <laughs> <laughs> Awesome. Well, I, don't, I don't judge, right? I don't know. She, Joanne is awesome. She's great. She, she's, in the region. she's out of Sacramento. Just an awesome, awesome lady. She does hashtag boss ladies and shit like that. So they're, they're really great people. Awesome. Uh, All right. So, well, thank you so much, Michael. Really appreciate you taking your time to be here today. Share with us that tip. Do more events. It's, you know, that can be the basis of all your communication. Like you said, you can do right. videos and text and emails and personal notes and everything in between all off of just hosting events whether you did that monthly or quarterly or whatever that looks like for you and your business but awesome well what's one thing that we can do to help you for your 2019 referrals always right one of the things that you're so tied to is this this legion of loan officers is that you know what they should do is have an event for realtors or their community and bring me and you in to speak right and, and we just absolutely knock their socks off as far as the realtors or business partners that they have and, and have an event, right? And uh, what I promise is that if you have an event with me speaking, then I promise that we'll make it a huge win for you, right? Absolutely. And I love to speak, and I have to tell you, I love to speak to realtors for mortgage professionals. So, so that, would, that would be the best. And, and check out referco.com, R-E-F-E-R-C-O.com if you – if you have some interest in that, we'll do a call, figure out if it's right for you, right? So I, I think that would rock, and, and we could have some fun with that and, and see what happens, right? Awesome. Well, thank you so much for kicking off St. Nick's 12 Days of Mortgage Giveaways. Uh, super fun to give away your book and, and the power of who as well. Come back tomorrow. Um, tomorrow, we're giving away a Nerf Infamous. It's an automated gun. It's amazing. I'll, I'll show you. Uh, What's it called? Versions. It's called an Infamous. Um, it's a brand new one for 20 for 20 just came out like uh, in October, November. Um, and uh, but it's a rapid fire. Really cool. I love Nerf. I show you my little Nerf wall. I got a little, oh little bit of stuff here. So we Nerf occasionally. So that's what we're giving away tomorrow. The guest is Carlos Redlick. He's an amazing copywriter. And he's going to have some great uh, tip, another great tip for you as well. So again, thank you, Michael, for coming on here. Really appreciate that. Thank you, Nick. Great idea. And uh, thanks again from the whole, from the whole real estate industry. Thanks for the value that you provide, man. I appreciate that. Thanks a lot. Have a good one. We'll see you.